We know many Tennesseans are hesitant to get the COVID-19 vaccine, but not all of them are what you would call anti-vaxxers. News Channel 5's Erin Cantrell introduces us to a woman who lost her husband to the virus and has a message for those who may be quick to judge. Just, you know, I wouldn't want to see that happen to anyone ever again, and so. It's hard to remain on the sunny side of life if you've been through the kind of storms like Kathleen McCormick experienced. May was a whirlwind in itself. She was recently diagnosed with breast cancer, caught COVID-19, and lost her husband of 12 years, Joey McCormick, to the virus in July. Every time that they would try to bring him out of sedation, he would get so agitated, his body, that they, they were, they'd have to, they'd have to stop. She still remembers the last conversation she had with him. I spent that time telling him I love him, telling him goodbye, tell, telling him I thought that he was incredibly brave. Kathleen and her husband were not vaccinated, but not against getting the shot. My vaccination had to be timed particularly around my um, infusion treatment for my autoimmune disease. And then I was told to delay vaccination to accommodate that, that chemo treatment schedule. So he was thinking about me and that's why he didn't, you know, take that next step. It's really unfair to look at someone and, and point at what they should have done. I think we need to focus on moving forward. Vanderbilt University Medical Center Associate Professor of Medicine, Dr. Vadana Abramson says the COVID-19 vaccines are safe for cancer patients, but the timing of receiving one needs to be worked out with the doctor. Patients receiving chemotherapy may not be able to mount as robust of a response to a vaccine as those whose immune systems are not compromised, but they'll likely get some response and some protection. Kathleen wants strangers to hold off on judgment. There are people who have lost loved ones who delayed vaccination for a reason. Reporting in Murfreesboro, Erin Cantrell, News Channel 5. Erin, thank you. Kathleen has an appointment to get her COVID-19 vaccine later this month. She has three more rounds of chemo treatment, and she says, thankfully, this treatment is working. Dr. Abraham or Abramson says the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine, even for cancer patients, far outweigh the risks.